um, you know, I, I'm having a lot of uh, reverse reactions from oils and stuff. And I remember an uh, Ayurvedic MD from India, he had a clinic there, he had said that, you know, like, I, he says, I was overstimulated pitta vata. And when you're, you lose all your resources and you're exhausted, it flips to the opposite. Yeah, it's mm -hmm. half a vata. But he said, you can't treat it from there. You have to treat it from the pitta vata. And he said, you know, no spices, no hot stuff, no, no action movies, you know, because it will increase the pitta vata and reduce already resources that are exhausted. And I'm thinking maybe that's why a bunch of the oils are producing opposite effects. Um, paradoxical things can happen for all, all kinds of things. You know, um, uh, if if exhaustion is the issue, which that that's very potentially possible, um, I, I would use things like absinthium. Absinthium is one of the best things for um, a, an exhausted body. Um, and then, you know, the like Ravensara, like uh, things that are considered uh, like terrain treatments. And so terrain is not like specifically trying to treat one thing or another. It's just trying to fortify the body and kind of get the body's processes working, but not through stimulation, just because the body's getting stronger. And so ra Ravensar is very good for that. It's very soft. It's very gentle. It's well tolerated. You can do very big dosages on the skin or uh, through inhalation. And I would say a combination of those two could be very fortifying to a very depleted body. The brain fatigue, you know, sages uh, can work, but if you felt that that wasn't working for you, I'd maybe switch over to using some form of spruce, like either Sitka or white, white spruce, something like that, just to fortify the, the nervous system. You know, something that's resinous. So even if you had other furs, that, that would work. Spruce is my first choice there, though. But even myrrh or frankincense can be helpful if you don't have the spruce. Myrrh or what? Uh, frankincense. Uh, um, and uh, did you say that the first one was sage? Sage is what you would use for brain fatigue, but if you find that it's not working for you, then switch to like uh, some sort of like Sitka or spruce or something like that. Okay. Okay. Um, I get inflammation from frankincense and... Then maybe just try the myrrh. I, actually, I would choose spruce first, but but if you don't have that, then those were other choices. Okay, and uh, like, uh, uh, you know, I, you know, I'm exhausted all the time, and it never relieves. But like, then I I have chronic pain. Well, so finally they find out the other day that my collarbone is dislocated, and uh, you know, like if I use it for bass or before going to like a chiropractor or an osteopath. Uh, I, I don't get anything from marjoram, and I've used bottles of that, or Glory of Lebanon or uh, the anti-spaz. I, I tried um, peppermint. I, I get a reaction clearly from that. And it tingles, but on the spastic paralysis, it feels like it's burning, and I get slight burn on my skin, and I get hot and sweating, like for days. And uh, I'm wondering, like, where do you get sweaty? Like on your abdomen, your forehead, it's my whole body, your whole body. Hmm. It's hot and sweating. It, it'll wake me up, or you know, it. It's, have, it's, have you ever worked it's, with it's, anus very much? 
Have you what? ever worked with Annis? Have you used Annis very much? Uh, I've used it some for inhalation. And do you have a reaction when you use it? Uh, I don't notice it from inhaling. Let's have you do, so absinthium and ravensara, and let's have you work anise in there and try those three, and let's see how that treats you. Use, use those pretty solid for a week to two weeks. And I'm using the anise from, for what? You're using it to balance out uh, the uh, autonomic nervous system. Because the, the sweaty is a disturbance in, in the autonomic nervous system. And so you're just trying to balance and fortify that part. Uh, okay. Uh, and uh, well, um, like sadness and grief, will that help? I, I would just stick with those three and just work those three for a little bit, get the body feeling a little bit better, and then we can do a like a next level. But if you're super fatigued, you have to kind of treat the fatigue. Um. Okay. Uh, yeah, my my, I've got autonomic dysregulation yeah the, so, the, anise, the anise should help that uh it, what is anis support also help for for that uh, i would do the an, the the anise just stick with those three like just mostly inhaling or if you can put a little bit on your body of the ravensara that would be good but the other things just inhale Okay. Um, yeah, and how how do I figure out, you know, what in, to avoid in terms of hot oils? Right now, I've just treat the fatigue because if you treat the fatigue, that might change. Um. Okay. <laughs> 